September, baby. It's our day. We've been planning this thing for over a year. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I know that every day is not going to be a bed of roses, but with you, I know that we can make it through. As long as we communicate, and most importantly, keep God first, we gonna do this thing. I love you, baby, and I can't wait to hear them say, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss that bride. I love you, boy. So today's our wedding day. Um, we've known each other for a little over two years now. Um, and I am excited. Um, I am excited to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, we have all of our family, our friends, um, our loved ones here to support us. I know it is going to be an amazing journey um, because we have the support that we need to help us through good times, bad times, sad times, you know. Um, Whatever we need, we have our support. Um, but most of all, we have each other. Um, the love that we share with one another is very profound. Um, so I want you to know that I love you. Um, let's not just make today a great day, but let's make this lifetime great. Baby and Darrell Spires. Do you take this woman, Tamara Joy Williams, as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her even as Christ loved the church, to protect her, to care for her, to honor her, to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself pure only for her? So long as you both shall live, you can say, I do. I do, I do, I do. Uh. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to allow you to make an open confession of your vows before her and before the congregants and the wedding party. Tamara, today I take you as my wife, my partner, and my best friend. I vow to love you unconditionally, so support you and all our dreams and aspirations, and to always be there for you through thick and thin. I will cherish you for all of eternity and provide you with the comfort and the security you deserve. I promise to cover you spiritually, to pray with you and for you, and to always put God first in our marriage. I vow to explore the world with you, to experience all of the wonders, and to create unforgivable memories together Above all, I promise to always put that same smile you got right now on your face and to love you more and more every day. I love you, my Tammy from Miami. <laughs> that was a lot to suck in, my God. <laughs> Tamara Joy Williams, do you take this man, Davian Darrell, Spires, as your husband, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as he is the head of this union, to serve him, to love him, to honor him, and to keep him, forsaking all others and keeping yourself pure only for him, so long as you both live. You may say, I do. I do. Now you may confess and profess your love for him in a vow before the congregants and the wedding party. Davian, you came into my life at the right time, when I wasn't quite ready, but when I needed your love the most. In these past couple of years, we've experienced life's highs and lows, 
and each experience has enabled us to build a solid foundation that we can stand on throughout our marriage. I thank God every day that you came into my life. You show me unconditional love. You put up with my dramatic personality and you pray for me and with me. You pray for me and with me when I need it the most. Every day isn't easy, but I'm often reminded of why I love you and why I chose to spend the rest of my life with you. You are ambitious, kind, loving, selfless, intelligent, and good looking. <laughs> Today I take your hand as my husband and I look forward to sharing the rest of my life with you. Today I vow to stick by your side, to be your partner and friend as we take this journey through life together. I vow to respect you as my husband, even when I'm aggravated, annoyed, and I want to be left alone. I vow to share my hopes and dreams with you and to, and to be completely vulnerable with you, even when it's uncomfortable. I vow to cheer for the Florida Gators with you. <laughs> but only if we have box seats to each football game we attend. <laughs> and if you encourage the kids to attend an HBCU. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to support and encourage you to reach your fullest potential and to help you grow spiritually, mentally, financially, and physically. Through uncertainty and difficulty, I vow to be faithful, honest, and, trust and trustworthy no matter what. I love you now and forever, and I look forward to doing forever with you. All right. This ring is symbolic of a never-ending love. You cannot tell where the beginning or the ending lies, and that is how your love is to be. Take her hand, Davy. Take this ring and place it on her finger. Look into her eyes and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. It is a token of my love for you and a token of my faith that I release now in Jesus' name. Tammy, I be wed. It is a token of my love for you and a token of my faith that I release now in Jesus' name. The Bible says that a three-four chord is not easily broken. You two hold it together. Stand back. Okay, stop. Take this in. Take this in. And you take this in. So when you tie this knot, your first commitment is to God. So you and Mark tie the knot. This is your commitment to Christ. Now you're going to take this. This is your commitment to one another and you're gonna interlobe it through the hole. Take it right through. Now Tammy, you're gonna do the same. That hole represents the trials and the tribulations that you go still hold on. Did it come loose? No. And that's how you ought to be. You may face me now. A three, four chord is not easily broken. For as much as Davian Spires and Tamara Williams have consented to come together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and before this congregation of witnesses and have given their pledge, their lives to each other and have declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings, joining of hands and tying of knots. I pronounce by the power and authority given to me by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and recognized by the state of Florida and these United States of America, I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> what God has joined together let no man separate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. 
and Mrs. Davian Spires. sister of the bride which means we've been with her since birth so we know all the good the bad the ugly and the embarrassing growing up with Tammy had its challenges especially because we could never escape the, the singing loud laughing and extreme fun we endured together from spending nights at our grandmother's house with all of our cousins to the many mornings we spent together before she dropped us off to school Many of those mornings I spent aggravated because her and Kiki would come in and turn the TV on and blast the volume to what sounded like it was on max. So I wake up with an attitude, but they didn't care. They continued to watch Full House and Family Matters. 
Then there was the honorable mention where we played so hard we put a hole in Auntie Netta's dining room wall. Boy, do we regret that. Tamara and I had a love-hate relationship as most siblings do. Even though we couldn't stand each other, we wouldn't dare snitch on one another. <laughs> Growing up with Tammy was a lot of fun and we definitely did it all under the sun. From outside all day skating and riding bikes to going to the Candy Lady house to bickering back and forth and getting on our mom's nerves. <laughs> Even as teens, we used to share clothes. I remember getting dropped off at the movies and having to find a ride back home because our mom wasn't both dropping us off and picking us back up. But yet, and still, we were two peas in a pod and you could never get one without the other. Whether she was stealing cars or washing money for them, one thing about Tammy <laughs> is that <laughs> we knew she was focused and determined to get all that she deserved out of life. She, she got her rich. Yeah, she, we ain't gonna say that one. Um, we, we knew she was focused and determined to get all that she deserved out of life. This included going to the best HBCU in the country. A Rattler! Okay. She's the reason I became a Rattler and graduated from the illustrious Florida A&M University. <laughs> After, as many of us know, she attended law school, which was extremely competitive and rigorous, so we didn't hear much about a dating life back then. But she always talked about meeting a good man, getting married, and starting a family. Then Davian, her forever man, came along. She seemed so sure about him. Unlike the others, we can tell he treated her well and she was happy well before we even met him. She brought him to Thanksgiving dinner last year and surprisingly he fit in. Our family is known for integrating a significant other, but for some reason with, da with Davian, the vibe was different. We loved him right away, he was family. We could tell she found a best friend and a lover. He was all the man she had prayed for and more. So we just want to say, from our hearts to yours, we wish you the happiest and longest marriage. Fabian, we are entrusting our girl's heart with you. We pray for a blessed marriage and wish you nothing but love. I would like to make a toast to one of the few people I've known my whole life. Ever since I can remember people, I've known Davian. And to watch you grow from a boy to a man makes me proud, bro. And when you told me you found a woman that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with, I was even happier. Because I get to watch, to reach, watch you reach another growth stage in your life. And I wish nothing but the best for you all and the greatest relationship possible. So, cheers to infinity years of love and happiness.
want my black bomb, homies, they come round along me It's like I got a 